Sure. How you doing? How you hey, doing? What's good, everybody? Well, this is the first of many to come of uh, Viewer's Choice Night 2013, The Real People's Power, Monday Night Raw Review Edition. Uh. What the fuck are you supposed to be? I don't know. Mush mouth? Yes. <laughs> anyway, tonight's Raw was... Pretty good. AJ, AJ did doing up. a good job. She updated Booker T. Yeah. So hopefully come Friday, Booker T can one up her, but we will see. Yep. Yep. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. You got to mind me. I'm a little fool off of some food we ate earlier. Mm -hmm. It's still chilling in me, and I'm like, chillax, you know? Yeah, he's like, uber chillax because he busted ass about a good three or four times. I busted ass. Nasty. Some of the I bust ass yet. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He farted. That's what busting ass is. I fart. Because you are so white. I tooted. Oh, he tooted. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's what the white people call him now. Yes, tooted. He tooted. He tooted. We tooted. I passed anyway. the ditty. <laughs> <laughs> we have gotten way off topic. Okay, okay. Back to back right, to what we're doing. We want oh, recap. All right. So, of course, the show started off with general manager. AJ Lee. AJ Lee. Coming uh -huh. out to announce a couple of good matches that came uh -huh. on tonight. And her little announcements were short lived because out comes the new whiny, bitchy, complaining, respect begging for asshole WWE champion CM Punk. He once was good, now he's just a pansy. He became a Dolph Ziggler, he became a Jericho. Yeah. He became all those ones that he did not like. Yeah. In a flip of a switch, saying no one respected him. How the fuck did we not respect him? Are you kidding me? Dude, you've been the champion for almost a year. We all respected you. We were gunning for you to go to that year, Mark. But guess what? Now we hope you fucking die. I don't care if Big Show or Cena be beat you. I, I just care. hope... I hope the Big Show wins. I, don't I like hope Cena wins. Now. wins. Um, fuck Cena. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> But that, that's, that's mean. <laughs> that's who I want to win. I want Cena to win or the Big Show. I'll, rec I'll restate, retract the statement or the Big Show. As long as it's not CM Punk. Because yeah. it kind of would be interesting in seeing The Rock versus The Big Show that at would, the Royal Rumble. That would be a classic rivalry renewal right yeah, there. I mean, that would be a good match. Yeah. So AJ, like we said, announced a couple of matches. She announced Randy Orton versus The Big Show. Yep, versus The Big Ho. I'm a big hole. Coming to blow your ever, balls for the first time ever on Monday Night Raw. Cena versus that goat face freak Daniel Bryan. And before she can make her final announcement, like we said, Cena or oh shit, Cena, that little fucker, uh, CM Punk came out and interrupted her, begging. Whining like a little bitch and uh, tried to weasel his way out of the match. Yeah, that he created. So in return, AJ decided to put him in a match, um, which we, the WWE Universe, was to choose his opponent, whether it be the Miz, Kane, or Rey Mysterio. And the Masked Wonder, Master of the Six One Nine, Rey Mysterio was the people's mm -hmm. choice. Yep. And of course, Rey Mysterio came up short. Came up short. No pun intended, because it's a short motherfucker. Um, Ray, you're a great athlete. Don't get me wrong. I like you. Love you. You gotta step up your game again. Yeah. Make that ring. You have that ring rust. Everyone gets it when you come back. You get it's the allowed. ring rust. It's allowed. So, so work on that, and then start winning your matches again. You once beat the Big Show for that title, right? For real? Be that Mysterio. Wait. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Rey Mysterio never beat the Big Show for the WWE Championship. It was for the World Heavyweight Championship. No, it was not. Yes, it was. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Wrong. Then who won? It wasn't the fucking Big Show. I don't know. I don't know. It was during their rivalry. No, because during that rivalry between them two, Brock Lesnar was the champion. Mm. No, I'm right. Okay, okay. Anyway, back, 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 back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the review. Anyway, so uh, the Randy Orton Big Show match. Uh -huh. They went at it inside the ring, 
couldn't put either each other down, so it went outside the ring. The Big Show leveled Randy with a choke slam on the inside. Couldn't get the three count, so he tossed him out. And they both got a double count out. After the Big Show struck uh, Orton with a spear. Yep. And then once they got counted out, the Big Show was going to go for another choke slam. WMD. Oh, yeah, WMD. Sorry. And he got struck. With an RK. Oh. You don't mess with Randy. You No. Don't think you're going to sneak up on Randy and not get dealt with. Randy will handle you in a fashion that you would not like to be handled. You're going to get struck with I wish I could hire Randy Orton to take care of some people that I know, especially on the road. Dish out punk kicks and RKO's and shit. Seamus, too. Broke kicks. Oh, yeah. Broke kick Broke kick straight through their windshields. Man. Even Jericho. Man, code breaks some people. Yeah. And Jericho, thank you. You came back to the Jericho I knew you were. Hell yeah, man. The classic Jericho. Yeah, I like you. I always like you. Even as a villain, I liked you. Oh, yeah. You were, <laughs> you were so funny. I liked you either way. You've always been one of my, my guys. Anyway, on to the reviews. Uh, there was supposed to be a match between Brodus Clay, the Funkasaurus, and that douchebag. Only than thou douchebag. Smarter than with his pink average bear. But the match never started officially because Sandow attacked Waters Clay on the entrance ramp. Like a pussy. Fucking up Clay's uh, knee. leg or yeah. knee, whichever the gigantic it was a knee thing was. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. Eve versus Kelly Kelly. Kelly made her return tonight. And she. Against the gorgeous Eve. Whatever that. Try to mm, gold digging whore. <laughs> First, Eve didn't want to compete. She wanted to run away, but Kelly Kelly said, No, bitch, you're going to get your ass whooped. And she did. Uh, Del Rio. <laughs> Del Rio got his car jacked. Before he defeated Christian. And while he was loading in the ring, up pops the world heavyweight champion, the great white Sheamus, on the Titan Tron. Right out. Right on the parking lot next to Del Rio's precious little Ferrari. And what'd he do? Sightseeing. He took it for a joy ride. He yep. went straight gangster and jacked, jacked Del it Rio. Yep, he shit. jacked that shit. He, <laughs> he says, I'm going through the Alamo. And by the time he got back to that arena, he trashed that Ferrari. That, yeah, that car, that car was destroyed, man. It was nasty. Looked like a Food. piece of garbage. Just, yeah. And... San Antonio's own, the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels made his return tonight. H B uh, whatever K is. Give it up. Give it up. <laughs> whatever the K is. So Shawn Michaels returned to make a announcement of sorts. And then out comes Brock Lesnar and that big mouth fucker Paul Heyman. Uh, started to get a little He cheated. is the biggest douchebag that has ever stepped foot in WWE. True that. Stephanie was right to slap yeah. the tapes out of his mouth because he the is second, a parasite. And the second biggest douchebag that ever stepped foot in the WWE ring is Brock Lesnar. And he would be right. That steroid probably He's freak. scared of Triple H. Oh, you pussy. Speaking of Triple H, during the... Um, Almost confrontation between HBK and Lesnar. Out comes Triple H to inter- intervene because I thought Brock Lesnar was about to fuck Shawn Michaels up. Yep. So when Triple H came out, it was a stare down and Brock Lesnar backed off and pretty much threatened Shawn Michaels. And I think he was a little scared. Yeah, he, he threatened Shawn Michaels and was going to attack Shawn and then Triple H came on out. He was like, no, bitch. Not going to happen. Not on. So... So Triple H came out, confronted him, and then Lesnar's like, "Oh, you know what? I'll see you at SummerSlam, and it's for see you, Shawn Michaels." Before that, thing. apparently and I he think got out of him. He got it, probably. Yeah. You know, Brock likes it like that. He's like I'm gonna catch you in the showers. Brock enjoys New it. Fish. <laughs> New fish. <laughs> Come swimming with me. So Brock okay. steps out of the ring and backs off like a little pussy. He can't face Triple H face to face. He skipped him. Yep. He found out what happened two weeks ago when he came tried to do it face to face. Yeah, guys, ass whipped. Oh yeah, and then there was the Money in the Bank winner for the World Heavyweight Championship, Dolph Ziggler. What he a pansy! <laughs> oh, pink trunks. He's just gonna get bro kicked. Yep. So he went against Alex Riley, who hasn't been seen on Raw in 
Uh, uh, he was, how long and who really cares? He was seen last week, but he lost. Oh, well, there you go. That's why nobody's seen him, because he lost. But he won. Because Chris Jericho was on commentary, and, of course, he had no choice but to fuck with Ziggler. But a win's a win. Alex Riley came out on top. Ziggler, Too bad, Ziggler. Lost. You fell short, Ziggler, by the thing. Much. I wish we could uh, give a review for the Miz Kane match, but sadly enough, we weren't able to catch it. We missed that match. Apologize. Sorry. A uh, couple other matches that didn't really stand out to us were Primo and Epico defeating the primetime players. They are two biggest pansies in the world. For real, rubbing on each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. No, you sparkly panties wearing motherfuckers. Fuck you. Whatever happened to good tag teams like the Outlaws? The Hardy Boys. Brothers of Destruction. APA. Come on, back in our day, it was the best. Even though they were bad at the time, Stone Cold and Triple H. Yeah. You know, it, it's The awesome. Rock and Sock Connection. The Rock and Sock. Mm-hmm. From X-Pac and Kane. I mean, come on. You look at these. You know, or even in uh, Kane and the Big Show. Kane and the Big Show were pretty dominant. Yes, they were. And I would hate to admit this one. Uh-uh. The Miz and Morrison. They were dominating. No one could beat them. I wouldn't call it dominating because they always ended up cheating to win their matches. But they still won. And they look like pansies. I got another team for you. Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio. Y'all are that classic. Latino Heat, rest in peace. Um, Another match, Ryback versus Tyler Rex (laughs) and Kurt Hawkins, of course. Ryback wins. Devours him. And as always, feed me more. I got one little thing to say real quick about him. They need to give him somebody relevant, somebody his size yeah. relevant, and 10 to 1, Ryback will lose. Yeah. And, of course, the main event for the night was signed uh, Daniel Bryan versus Cena. Of course, Daniel Bryan being the whining little pansy that he is. Spent most of the match saying no, 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 no to the no, audience. No, no. And they replied with yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he gets on my nerves. Every time he steps out of there, I, I just want to bring his fucking neck and you know, yell at him, you go face oompa loompa son of a bitch. <laughs> you know? <laughs> go eat some cans, bitch. Go eat some cans. So, Man. the match was pretty much a back and forth match. Man. Um, I didn't care for either one of them. Man. Bitch, but hey, Cena won with an AA. Man. And just like that, here comes WWE Champion CM Punk to watch Man. some more. And... Yeah, Man. the big show came up. Yep. Uh, Cena tossed CM Punk to the side like he was yesterday's trash. Punk and, uh, not Punk, sorry, Big Show and Cena brawled for a bit. Cena put him up in the AA, was about to drop it. Only to have CM Punk attack him, him again from behind. Then he whined on the commentator's booth. I ain't no one respects me, blah, 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 blah. You know who he sounded like? John Laronitis. Ew. That's, that's who that's who he reminded me of was John Laronitis. That's very sad. Being a whiny little bitch. So after he bitched and whined on the commentator's booth, he got back in the ring, tried to kick Big Show in the head for the second week in a row, only to get smacked by WMD. And then Cena got up, and guess what? WMD. <clears throat> Winner Shut at SummerSlam, Big Show. <laughs> I hope so. I think it will be the Big Ho. Hey. Because, like I said, the classic match would be the Big Ho versus The Rock. The Rock the at the Royal Rumble. Champion. That would be the classic match. If you're the man! Sorry. What the Rock is cooking? Well, we're running out of time now. Uh, that's our recap of Raw tonight. Um, please tune in next week for the Raw edition. In the meantime, check out our other videos that we release. We two weeks plenty later. more this week. For you to enjoy, and uh, um, we got SmackDown coming up on Friday for you wrestling fans. SmackDown review. Uh, so yeah, this has been Viewers Choice 2013 Monday Night Raw Review Edition. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for you: suck it.